watching Caffeine and Pixie Dust. Have a wonderful day. Hello and welcome back to Caffeine and Pixie Dust. So I've got a cheeky little video to share with you guys today. Um, I might have been doing a bit of Disney shopping, I'm not gonna lie, I love a bit of Disney shopping. And today I received my order, my magic mail, and I thought what better way to open it up than to share it with you guys. So here it is, ready to open. Um, now, a uh, little um, disclaimer as it were, I have seen what's in this box in a photo, in an email, so I have a rough idea of what the finished product is gonna look like because this is a very bespoke item and it's something that I've been really, really excited about receiving because I just can't wait. So without further ado, I think we'll open them. While I open this up, I will um, spoil the surprise, you've probably seen on the thumbnail anyway. This is actually a pair of um, very, very beautiful and 100% bespoke customised Disney ears by the most amazing ear designer, um, Queen Ursula UK, otherwise known as Alyssa, who is actually the lady that makes them. And it's kind of quite... <sighs> They're so unusual, they're so striking. And when you see them in the parks or on people's Instagram photos, they're really, you know, you can tell that they're ears by Alyssa because they are so very beautiful. So I'm just gonna open these up. Sorry, it's probably very noisy. Oh my goodness! They are so lovely. <laughs> so they're double-sided ears. Oh, and I've got a free sweetie. There you go, we love that. What's in the box? I am going to show you the ears. I'm not teasing you, don't worry, but I will quickly show you the business cards that have come in here. So first of all, we've got the card from Queen Ursula. I will, of course, link her um, page in the show notes below, but this is the business card. This is the logo you're looking for. And then also in here is another card for IMDO, which is the In My Disney Opinion podcast which if you haven't listened to yet is definitely worth a listen. Again, I will pop that in the show notes. But now on to my beloved ears. Now I've got some very special characters featuring on my ears and I absolutely love them. Here we go, sorry, that's very loud and rustly. So first up, if you are one of my Instagram followers, you will know that my number one is ah, Mr. Donald Duck. And here he is. My goodness, look at those ears. I'm gonna hide behind them so you can see them properly. So just to give you an idea, I mean, you can obviously see from this, these ears are absolutely gorgeous. They are covered, encrusted in these most amazingly sparkling crystals here. And the detail is just gorgeous. So we've got Donald Duck on both sides, which I absolutely love. But then on the other side, which I equally love, I can't choose. We've got Mary Poppins and Peter Pan. Look at that, so gorgeous. So the reasons I've chosen these characters, so Mary Poppins, just to give you an idea, I remember going to see the Mary Poppins films when I was really little, like about five, and apparently I used to go and see, I say films because I literally saw the same film over and over again. I think as children do, and maybe as grown-ups do too, um, but Mary Poppins is just one of my earliest memories, and. I'm so excited about the new movie coming up as well, so I will no doubt be walking down Main Street in these spark ears, hoping to bump into her because I'm yet to meet Mary Poppins at Disneyland Paris. And then on the other side, I've gone for kind of classic Peter Pan, um, flying across a silvery moon, because for me, Peter Pan is just so sort of quintessentially DLP. Obviously, Jay and Barry is sort of an English story and everything, but you just can't go to Disneyland Paris without hopping on the Peter Pan ride and maybe bumping into Peter Pan and Wendy running around Adventureland. So there we go. Now I don't know if you can see on here, Alyssa has done the most amazing job at recreating the night sky. And although these scenes are very, very different, she's really linked them together. I'm gonna just get my head out of the way so you can concentrate on the ears. Because you can see the nighttime sky spans across both sides of the ears and there's a little hidden Mickey in there as well. And then, of course, my main man, Donald. I chose these two designs. I'd actually seen them on another pair of ears that um, Alyssa had done, and it was like a four-sided um, character set, so, but they were Donald on each side. And I chose these ones because I just thought he looked so happy 
and cheerful in that one and in this one he just looks super super cheeky and that's how I think Donald. Now enough chattering I'm going to try these on. Oh I love the fact that even on here on the top they're all sparkly they're so beautifully made. Here we go Donald first. <laughs> okay I'm biased I know it's Donald but those are gorgeous. Do you know they are so comfortable to wear. I don't know if you've worn like the um, actual Disneyland park ears, but sometimes they can be really heavy and they kind of scrunch the side of my head as well. I don't know if I've got a big head, maybe. But these are really light. I think it's because they're like foam inside the ears or something. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how they're made, but they are so beautifully light. Yeah, there's no problem. They're not coming off either. They are nice and secure. So that's Donald. I love how they're nice and big too can definitely see Donald coming down when I'm wearing these at Disneyland Paris. And then on the other side, there we go, beautifully matching my jumper. I've got Mary Poppins and Peter Pan. And I really hope you can see just how sparkly they are. I mean, just to give you an idea, it is a proper gray day out there. It's miserable and I've got one light over there. So this isn't at all kind of the best lighting for them. In spring sunshine, they would be gorgeous. Right, now the other thing is, first of all, I'm going to show you the outfits that I kind of have in mind to go with these ears because that's not something I normally do. Normally I just kind of throw things together to take to Disney. But because these ears were 100% bespoke and customised, I was able to really think through when I would wear them and how I would wear them. So first of all, this side with the lovely nighttime sky. She said, whipping the other piece of fabric out of the way. I have this dress um, from Carolina's Dress Room, which I've worn to Disney a couple of times now, which I really love. And it's got this Peter Pan fabric. It's kind of a 1950s style dress, which I wear with a great big net petticoat underneath it. But you can see that I think these ears are gonna go beautifully with it because you've got the kind of London Peter Pan shapes there. So that's gonna look really gorgeous. And of course, always ready to meet Mary Poppins if I'm lucky enough. And then the other side, which I'm gonna flip around. There we go. <laughs> it's all about Donald. Um, I have literally just purchased in the sale, the Cat Kiss and Sale, this skirt, which I kind of had my eye on for a while because it's in this gorgeous cherry red fabric, but it's got all the Disney characters on there, the classic crew, and there, is the man. <laughs> so I think these ears, maybe just a black kind of slash neck top and this red skirt, possibly with a petticoat underneath, will look absolutely fantastic when I track Donald down in the parks. So those are the fabrics that kind of went along with this because I knew I had my eye on that skirt and I knew I had the Peter Pan dress. But I just want to now give you kind of an idea of how this works because Quite often when I've bought customised ears in the past, you know, you can customise them a bit, but generally you're working to a design. But with Alyssa at Queen Ursula UK, um, it really is 100% bespoke. So um, the way it works, I will link her website below so you can have a look, but I believe there's three levels of different ears you can get. I think there's standard, um, which is, I hope I'm getting this right. Standard is kind of like one outfit across one side of the ears. Um, and then I think, another outfit across the back. So you might have like Rapunzel and Cinderella. And then uh, the next one up is um, Deluxe, I think. Fingers crossed I got it right. And that is where you actually have like four different outfits. So one on each side. So you could have maybe Peter Pan and Tinkerbell and I don't know, Hook and Smee on the other side or something. But it's like the outfit. It's not sort of faces or anything like that. But you can still definitely see who the character is. I originally went for that and then I was just so kind of spoiled by choice of what I was gonna go for that I decided to upgrade and I went for the, de the deluxe design and that's where you can actually get the really detailed kind of face designs and things. And I'm really glad I did because I've been looking at these ears for such a long time, just sort of thinking, I really want some of those ears. And sometimes I kind of think actually, gotta treat yourself. <laughs> so I got these ears, I'm really happy with them. And the way it worked is once I'd ordered them, um, Alyssa got in touch and worked out kind of what I wanted to go for. And we had quite a lot of to and fro on the ear design. She was super patient because I got really indecisive. I was like, I was kind of like the fairies in Sleeping Beauty. I was all make it pink, make it blue, make it red, make it blue. I wasn't sure. And she put up with it, me being really indecisive and she was very, very um, 
kind of, yeah, patient with me. And I'm just really, really happy with these ears. So I think that's kind of it. As I said, I'll link below. I'm sorry this was a bit of a rambly video, but you know when you're excited to get something, and I'm really pleased to have shared them with you guys, and I can't wait to wear them. Um, strutting down Main Street, sparkling in the sunshine. So a couple of questions for you guys. Have you, first of all, got any Queen Ursula ears? Because this is my very first pair, but I have a sneaking feeling they're not gonna be my last. Um, because every so often she does ready to um, ship ones as well, so you can already see them made. And she has started fabric ones too, which look lovely. So if you have, please do tell me about the designs you have, because I'd love to know. But if you haven't, and if you were to pick your favorite characters to put on a pair of ears, who would you pick? Because for me, that was kind of really the hard bit. I started off with Rapunzel, and then I sort of thought, oh, should I get the other princesses? And then I just went with my favourites, my firm favourites, and I'm really pleased I did. So I hope you've enjoyed this cheeky little video. Um, if you have, please do leave me a sparkly, crystally thumbs up, and share, like, comment, subscribe, all those wonderful things, and I'll see you next time. Take care.